Now, Africa is mourning one of its football legends. Nigeria's Stephen Keshi has died at the age of 54. The statement was released by the Nigerian Football Federation and by Stephen Keshi's brother. Keshi was a former captain of the Nigerian national team and only one of two men to win the AFCON tournament as both player and coach. Keshi was also coach of Togo and Mali, and as a player, he joined the Belgian side Andalesh. Keshi's brother said he died of a cardiac arrest early on Wednesday. He also said the former Super Eagle coach has been in mourning since his wife died in December of last year. He survived by four children. Well, he was an icon not only in Nigeria. Keshi's legacy spans the continent. The Ghana Football Association has sent its condolences to the family. In a statement, the GFA president, Kwesi Nyantakia, wrote, Stephen Keshi was a great man and a noble spirit whose shining example of dedication to football and to uh, footballers was not only dedicated to Nigeria but to several countries including Ghana as he mentored uh, several Ghanaian players. He was greatly admired by all and he will indeed be sorely missed. This is a very sad day indeed for all of us. End of quote. Well, a sad day indeed for the African continent. Let's get you some more reactions on the death of Stephen Keshi. And I'm joined live from Lagos by CCTV's Deji Badmus. Uh, Deji, how has the Nigerian Football Federation and the Nigerian football fans in Leg Lagos, though, reacted to the death of Stephen Keshi? Well, Beatrice, it's been total shock in the country. As a matter of fact, nobody knew that Stephen Keshi was actually in Nigeria. The news came as a rude shock. It actually came at about uh, 4 a.m. Uh, you know, last night. And um, I mean, this morning, I should say, um, quite, quite sad. Fans have been expressing their sadness. As a matter of fact, the social media in this country has gone uh, into some kind of meltdown. People, you know, tributes have been pouring in from fans. And um, pe people are just in utter shock and disbelief. Nobody ever saw this coming. Uh, there was no news at all that he was ill or anything. It's total shock and uh, tributes have been pouring in, uh, Beatrice. Well, Deji, it has come as uh, quite a shock, not only for Nigeria, but the African continent uh, at large. Do we know at this stage what the funeral arrangements are likely to be? Well, the family hasn't announced any arrangement at all. Um, in fact, uh, we, we are all waiting. There have been calls. Uh, for instance, some fans have been asking that uh, he be given a, a state burial. The government has not reacted to that. Uh, we still have to wait and see if, uh, he, he, if uh, Stephen Keshe would get a state burial. Uh, but the family has not made any arrangement at all. I think we're going to get that in the coming days. Uh, usually uh, things are not done in a hurry here, especially when it comes to burial like this. But there's no question at all that at some point in time, either the federal government or Nigeria or his state government, because it's actually he, he, he's from Delta State, the state government might uh, take up the burial arrangement. Um, so, you know, it might be weeks before we see some kind of formal uh, announcement now from uh, either the family or the Nigerian government, or indeed his state government. Well, uh, Deji, though, Stephen Keshi was a rather controversial uh, figure in Nigeria, though. Just how loved was he by the Nigerian people? Well, as you said, very controversial figure, but very much liked, especially uh, during his time as a player. I mean, he captained the Super Eagles for a very long time. And during that period, of course, um, the, the, the Nigerian national team, the Super Eagles, won the Nations Cup in 1994. He was the captain of that team. A lot of people still remember him for that. His colleagues uh, in the Super Eagles at the time would always remember him as someone who fought for his players. I mean, he was very vocal about players' welfare and was always standing for his colleagues, defending their rights. Now, of course, as you know, in 2013, he won the uh, Nations Cup. and. Uh, um, you know, people would not forget that the second, the first Nigerian coach to win the Nations Cup and the second African to achieve the feat as both a player and a coach. People would always remember that. Of course, things didn't go too well uh, during his latter stages as um, the coach of the Super Eagles. Um, you know, for instance, we did not qualify for uh, the Nations Cup in Equatorial Guinea. Uh, people were not too happy. Of course, people were very critical of him. But then all the same, people will remember Stephen Keshi as a dedicated footballer. And, and what people have been saying here, they've just been highlighting the positive. Nobody has seen anything negative at all. As a matter of fact, the performances, his, his 
performances during the latter stages of his uh, you know coaching his his job as the super eagles coach people are not talking about that we should also not forget that steven keshi actually opened the floodgate for um nigerians to ply their uh, nigerian footballers now to ply their trade abroad so uh, he, he would be sure so surely missed there's there's no question at all and um he is very much liked in this country, I must tell you, very much liked. And um, what we have seen so far, positive tributes from all over the country, irrespective of where people come from, people are really, really sad. And they're asking the federal government to uh, name a national monument after him. But we just have to wait and see what the government does um, going forward from here, Beatrice. All right, uh, Deji Badmus there for us on the sad news of the passing of uh, Stephen Keshi.